But yeah, I'm Jewish. I don't really celebrate a lot of the holidays, though, because a lot of times Jewish holidays and Christian holidays happen at the same time, and it just proves how much better Christian people are at marketing. <laughs> so much better, you know? Christmas and Hanukkah happen at the same time. Christmas is great. Jolly fat guy rides around a sled, throws gifts down your chimney. Meanwhile, Hanukkah's like, we only bought enough oil for one night, and it lasted for eight. What a bargain. <laughs> We should make it a holiday. A festival of good value. You guys have cute animals. Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. We don't have that. There's no Herschel the Lactose Intolerant Kangaroo. There's nothing. You guys got the Easter Bunny. How great is that? Oh yeah, kids, this giant bunny rabbit just left a bunch of eggs in the backyard. Go find them. That happens at the same time as Passover. I don't know if you've been to a Passover Seder, and it's not what you would describe as a good time. <laughs> a Seder's just six hours of your grandma being like, dip this parsley in the salt water and taste the tears of your ancestors from when we were slaves. <laughs> like, Grandma, where's the bunny rabbit? Taste the suffering! What I've realized is every Jewish holiday is kind of like a coach reviewing game film with his team about how they lost last time. It's like, all right, now bring it in here, tribe. Now look, I know we're over for history, but let's talk about it, all right? Now remember, the Pharaoh loves to blitz. I want you to throw that quick slant to God and watch out for locusts and false idols. All right, bring it in. Clear hearts, big noses, can't lose. One, two, three, let's go, team. And that's the Torah. That's pretty much how it goes. And I don't know if you guys know this, suffering, very important to Jews, is something I've realized, old Jews, very competitive with black people about who's been more oppressed. <laughs> it's true, it's true. Because I was watching that movie, 12 Years a Slave, the opening credits were on, my grandma walks into the room, looks at the screen, she's like, 12 years, huh? <laughs> no, no, 12's a lot, 12's a lot. It's no 400 years in the desert, but you make do. So that's my fictional grandma. Uh, 